Hi there, I thought I'd make a quick little video just to show you um, a fantastic new feature of an update to Final Cut Pro 10, uh, which is multicam editing, um, which is phenomenally useful. In fact, it uh, came out, I think, the day I was doing um, a shoot, uh, this shoot here actually, uh, which involved multiple cameras. So what I've got here is I've got two clips, one clip from each of the cameras, um, and the first is a wide shot, as we can see here. And this was just a lockdown camera. It had the default built-in microphone. It was just recording the audio. Uh, the handheld camera here, um, both the people had wireless mics on, and it was feeding back through the XLRs um, into that. Um, so that's the good audio that I really want to use for the whole thing. And uh, This is a sort of awful audio that I don't want to use, but um, nice visuals. So all I do is I click the first clip, I hold down shift and click the second clip, I right click, and I say new multicam clip. Um, it's going to ask me for a name, so I shall call this uh, performance. Um, and by default I can use audio for synchronization, um, or I can use custom settings if I want to, which is time codes and blah de blah de blah, but I don't need to because um, this audio synchronization is fantastic. And I just click OK. And within a few seconds, I'm going to end up with another clip um, in my event bin. And there it is, uh, performance. And I can see that it's a multicam clip because it's got this little um, multicam, multicam symbol there. And something I do uh, once I've synchronized them is I actually select my original two clips, like so, and I reject them. Um, now you might ask why on earth do I do that? It's literally so that I can go up here and change my view of this event from all clips to hide rejected. And so I end up with my beautifully made uh, multicam clip that I'm going to use. So if I have a quick look at that. Good to go. Hello Alex. Hello Graham. Hi. This is a classic hour routine. It's okay, so I'm just going to take uh, the bit that I want. And this guy is very, very skilled. Um, he's worth watching if you can find him um, on YouTube. His name is Graham Jolly. He's a magician. Um, anyway, so let's grab that bit. And let's drop that onto my timeline. Now, this is all very well. And there it is on our timeline. But you might well be saying, well, mm, how do I know what the different angles are? Well, what we do is we go up to Window. And we select Show Angle Viewer. And there, we have now got our two angles. Now, the bottom one's blank at the moment, but if I scroll through, there we go, that's when the camera actually kicked off on that one. Uh, let's trim this a little bit, just so we... Oh, that's where he greets him. Right, OK, so let's take out all that gubbins at the start that we don't want. There we go. Yeah, so if I look at that, that's fine. Um, now, as I explained to you, I actually want to use the audio of this angle, the Sony HDV um, VCR, uh, which is the decent audio. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch to enable audio only switching, and I'm just going to click on the other clip. And you can see now I've got a little symbol. I'm using the audio of that clip, uh, but I'm using the picture of this clip. That's fine. Um, I also just want to now switch back to video only switching so that as I go through this it's um, just going to click the picture back and forth between the two cameras not the audio. Now when I want to actually change between the clips you might say well how do you do it? If you're playing back from the timeline it is as simple as clicking button 1 and button 2. Um, it's easy as that. You can have uh, more things here if you want, more angles, synchronize more clips, um, and you can change the display. You can actually have up to 64, I think it is off the top of my head, um, in one multicam clip, which is pretty impressive. But I'm going to stick with just the two, because I've only got two here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start playing through, and I'm, as I say, going to click between one and two, and we're just going to chop and change as we go through. But you should watch the trick as well, because it's very, very cool. You'll notice that um, the uh, window on the right-hand side, the larger window, is what I'm actually getting on my timeline. So when I change to two, I can immediately see that's just what I've done um, on the right-hand side. So here we go. 
Hello, Alex. Hello, Graham. Hi. This is a classic hour routine. It's called the Lazy Man's Card Trick. 52 cards. Alex, what I'd like you to do is just cut the back into half, will you? Into two. Alex, would you take the top card, have a look at it, remember it, just drop it on here, and then complete the cut. So, Alex, um, you know what your card is, of course, but you don't know where it is, is that true? Yeah. Would that's you just true. cut the back and complete the cut? Thank you very much. And, Alex, would you do that once more? Now, I just want to establish that it's not. It's not the um, bottom card, is that true? Mm, that's right, yeah. I'll just give it back another card. Alex, would you hold the cards, and I'd like you to deal the cards face down on the table, thinking of your card, okay. but say nothing. Continue dealing. Would you stop there, Alex? I yeah. felt some kind of impulse. I can't explain it. Alex, what was the card? It was Nine of Hearts. Nine of Hearts, the very same card. Brilliant. Al Coran's Lazy Man's Card Trick. Right, OK, so that's all done. Um, now you'll have to forgive me because a couple of them went a little bit wrong. <coughs> but we shouldn't worry too much. We'll, we'll fix that up later. In fact, let's fix it up now. Uh, so, for example, um, actually, by the way, you can see that they're all my edits. Nicely done. Um, this bit here, where he told him to stop dealing out the cards, um, Really, I should I cut back to a wide, but I did it too late. It should be at the point where he says stop. So let's just have a look at how it is now. Would you stop there? I yeah. felt some kind of impulse. I can't explain. Yeah, that, that's not ideal. So I think if I look at the audio, this is about where he says stop. Would you stop there? Alex? Yeah, he clicks his fingers and says stop at that peak there. So all I'm going to do is with my yeah. default selection tool is go back here and between the two edits, and I'm just going to grab, and I'm going to drag that back there. Simple as that. Um, I'm just going to go slightly before, and let's see what we get. Would you stop there, Alex? I yeah. felt some kind of impulse. I can't... Perfect. So, there we go. The multicam uh, edit routines in the new, I think, 10.0.3 version of uh, Final Cut Pro 10. Um, you might wonder, if you're perhaps an amateur filmmaker, why this is uh, useful to you. Um, and I can give you a couple of reasons. Uh, this is, I would have thought, a godsend for uh, wedding um, photographers and filmmakers. Uh, if you've got, uh, there's a few of you filming all different events, well, very easy to tie them all together via audio uh, later on. Um, but also, I mean, we've all got uh, video cameras on our mobile phone nowadays, so let's imagine you, as a, a family of four, go off on holiday and you go and see something fairly spectacular, and you're all filming at the same time. Well, mobile phones don't have any fancy things like time code to synchronise to later, but as long as you're recording audio, it's easy as anything to fix up. I'm just going to show you one other nifty little feature I suddenly thought about, better add this on at the end. Um, let's say you've got uh, two shots like this, and there's a bit of variance between the two of them in colour. Um, you might ask, well, do I have to go back to my timeline here, and do I have to select each of these clips and try and um, adjust them separately, because they're now sort of seen as separate clips? Uh, the answer is no. We can go back up to our bin here, we can go to Performance, and I can right-click... Uh, there we go. Uh, yes, I can right-click and go Open in Angle Editor. And as you can see, if I uh, shrink down the sizes, or if I scroll down, it's the easiest way, um, there are my actual two clips synchronized. Um, and if I just want to affect one, so let's say this one, if I click on that uh, and I show my inspector, uh, go to Video, here we go, I can actually uh, apply a colour correction, so we'll do a really mad one, uh, so I can see, there we go, I'll make it ultra green. I can then come out of this, and, whoops, and actually try and do what I was trying to do, go back into my multicam project there, and I can see that all those clips from the secondary camera are all now with this lovely green hue. So there you go, another little tip.